two bobs been whining for like 20 minutes it's in the morning it's like seven o'clock like you're just getting up but he's whining because he's stuck on the couch because there's a door <laughs> right beside it let me turn the light on i'm like this is new too much what are you stuck <laughs> Good thing there's no zombies, Bob. <laughs> Bob is stuck. Bob is stuck. What? Oh, poor Bob. He needs the good ones. <laughs> Open the curtains so you guys can see good. <laughs> Are you stuck? You're still stuck. Well, come on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm out. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'll probably get this update in a while because I sold my big de desktop computer. I want to get a laptop, more, more, more mobility. God, that was hard to say. Well, as you can see, the truck is going to get a little bit more sound. I got a cherry bomb for it. Actually, it's a thrust glass back. But uh, the truck has no sound at all, and I find it boring. A V8 that just... You know, it's, it's fun to have a little bit of sound, but as you can tell with all this, anyone that knows anything about vehicles knows it's getting a sound system. So, uh, I'll give you an update. Hey guys, what's up? It's been a long time. It's actually been a few days. I did quite a lot on the truck. Got the summer tires on. Missing the center caps. The guy I bought the truck off still has them. He needs to find them. I gotta go pick them up. If not, I'll go get them at the junkyard. But where I left off, I was, uh... <coughs> I was actually uh, setting up the wires for my double din. This took a good two days to install. It was it was just really hard to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I got that done. It's a uh, DVD, uh, Bluetooth, uh, auxiliary in. There's two in, there's two out. There's one for a rear view camera, which I have on the way. I got these new. They're gray, they fit with the gray steering cover. Gray here, fix this. This was all broken, cracked and everything on the other one. I got all the doors figured out now with the electric locks, actuators are new and all the doors and even the barn door and back. I did that, I got myself a nice big uh, panoramic view, rear view mirror. Uh, I got all my accessories wired up. I got my CB going. I, I drilled a new hole in the firewall. Uh, where is it? Right there. A nice grommet. Where the way it's supposed to be. I ran my things over to the battery. I got my solar panel, uh, which is behind my CB, which uh, keeps my battery at a con like a constant good 12 volt. Keeps it... Uh, Keeps it char like on a steady charge all the time, which is good. Uh, I'm sick as a dog. What else did I do on the truck? Oh, uh, I fixed uh, the front sway bar. One of the linkages were uh, broken on the passenger side. I, I did that. I saw the guy for the insurance for the estimation for the damage. Uh, I guess uh, he, they considered the truck scrap. But he came and saw it, and he was like, oh my god, this truck is far from being scrap. It's super clean. So what he's going to do, he's going to pay me $18 an hour to fix my stuff, which is cool. And uh, he's going to give me $100 to get the rear bumper uh, aligned the way it's supposed to from the accident, like bent down. And uh, a whole bunch of stuff. I'll keep you guys posted once I know. And uh, what else? 
Bring it to the garage Monday to get a, a muffler that will make a bit more noise on there. Because it's like it's got no sound at all. You know, if I'm going to drive a V8, I'd like for it to rumble a little bit. Oxygen sensors on the way as well. It's causing a code in the dash. Well, check engine in the dash. Uh, the uh, down pipe and up pipe, both of them, sensor one and two on uh, both sections, down and up are due. So that's four oxygen sensors that are going to be going on this beast. Uh, I think I have a problem. It burns a little bit of Prestone. A little bit. I'm talking about like if I go about 40 or 50 kilometers, it'll burn like a quarter cup. So I just got to watch it, keep it up to date. I don't think I want to put any product in there to uh, block up uh, the hole because I guess that can cause more problems than anything. I got new bumpers on the way. From the, well, not, not on the way. I got to pick them up at the junkyard. One's got a, a push bar in front, which will be really cool. Comes up. This is getting fixed next week. Windshield's cracked. That's getting done. It's in the budget. And uh, that's about it. Noemi's mom bought herself a Fit. Honda Fit. So we're going to inherit her uh, her Honda Civic 2002, I think. 2003. So we'll burn around in that one. We don't need to take the big truck out. So that'll be pretty cool. And uh, that's about it. That's your little update, guys. I'll catch you later. Hey, my little cow. <laughs> yum yum yum. Are you gonna do it again? Oh, eating a muffin. <laughs> do you see me laughing at you? Oh no! Oh no! Keep driving. <laughs> No, you have a muffin left. You start it? Why? Okay. Wait a minute. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. Is it good? Yeah. I'm going to put it in the cake. I'm going to put it in the cake. You're eating and trying to drink it. Yeah, that is so good. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> you want another piece? Oh. Je crois que tu le dors à la maison, là, mais faire tout le temps, là. Dude, we need to transfer the van. Yeah, I know, we need to do that this week. You, what are you working tomorrow? Tomorrow I'm busy, though. Us, too. Oh, great. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. There's another little update. Went and picked myself up a single quad fire LED light. And the uh, reason for application is going to be a reverse light. Something that'll light up a lot more. So, uh, installation on the way. So I wanted to show you guys a little unbox. Not too much going on in there. I thought there was actually two. One sec. I thought there were two lights in it, but it's just this whole setup so you can test it. And there's three rows of four 9-volt batteries in there. So, uh, cool guys. Catch you later.